Do they know that you're homeless? Yeah. They know that you're homeless? Yep. And so if they were to see this video on YouTube, do you think that they would want to come and get you off the street? I don't know. I talked to them on the phone, but they don't tell me to come home, though. You say they don't what? They don't tell me to come back home. When's the last time you talked to them on the phone? About two weeks ago. Do you want to go back home? I want to get off the street. Did you tell them that? Yeah. What was their response? What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? I'm doing all right. All right, all right. So listen, um, are you homeless? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, how old are you? 51. 51. All right. And so how long have you been homeless? About four years. Four years? Okay. So what was it, man, that happened four years ago that made you go from having a roof over your head to being out on the street? My mother died and I didn't have nowhere to go. Okay. So your mother passed. Uh, my condolences about that. And so... When your mom died, was was it her house that you was living in? Yes, sir. Okay. And did she own the house or was she renting? She owned it. She owned the house? Yeah. So did the house not get passed down to you or? It didn't get passed down to me. My sister, she had, she was over the house and then she sold it. Okay. So your sister sold the house that you was living in? Yeah. Wow. All right. And so how many siblings do you have? How many sisters and brothers do you have? Both sisters. Both sisters? Yes. And where are you in the birth order? The third. So you're the middle child? Yes. All right. And you're the only boy? Yes. Okay. Um, and so let's just start from the beginning, man. Where are you from? Barnesville. Barnesville, Georgia? Yes. Shout out Barnesville. Um, and so uh, you're from Barnesville. Did you have both your mother and your father growing up? No. In the household? Just your mother. Just your mom? Yes. Okay. Where was your dad? He was in another city. Okay, so he he he. How often did you see, did you see him growing up? Not often. Okay. Um, when you think about that as an adult, how does that make you feel? It made me feel bad. Okay. Okay. Um, and so you grew up with your mom. Uh, did you? You know, would you say that you had a fairly normal childhood growing up? Family. Okay. Did you go to high school? No. Sir. To the ninth grade. To the ninth grade? So why'd you drop out so early? Bad grade. Okay. Um, and did anybody give you advice to say, hey, don't drop out, you know, let's just try to work harder or anything like that? Yes, my sister. And, and you, did, did you, I guess you didn't follow that advice? No. Okay. And so, do you have any kids? No. No kids whatsoever, huh? No. You ever been married? No. Okay. And so what have you been doing for, you know, all these years up through 51? I mean, you know, obviously you, you got to a point where you was having to live in mom's house. Was there ever any drug abuse? Yes. Okay. What type of drugs? Crack. Okay. Crack cocaine. And so when was the first time you smoked crack cocaine? 21. 21? What made you do crack? What made you to start? Being around the wrong crowd. Okay. So being around other users and yeah. you started using. Yeah. So you've been smoking now for almost 30 years. Yeah. Okay. And so, your mom passed away. Um, did your sister know that her selling the house would make you homeless? She didn't care. She greedy. Okay, okay. And so, I mean, did any of the other sisters step in and say, hey, don't do that? Yeah, she didn't care. Huh, all right. Well, I mean, let me ask, so, Okay. So you basically, do they know that you're homeless? Yeah. They know that you're homeless? Yeah. And so if they were to see this video on YouTube, do you think that they would want to come and get you off the street? I don't know. I talked to them on the phone, but they don't tell me to come home though. You say they don't what? They don't tell me to come back home. When's the last time you talked to them on the phone? About two weeks ago. Do you want to go back home? I want to get off the street. Did you tell them that? Yeah. What was their response? 
you need to get yourself together. So this is about the crack smoke? Yeah. When was the last time you smoked crack? About two days ago. Okay. Have you ever tried any of the programs? Yeah. I want to get another long term. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess, do you understand maybe where your sisters are coming from? Yeah, I understand. But you feel like you would be better served if they at least, you know, came and have they tried to come and get you before? They talk to me and they tell me to get in some program and get some help and come on back home. And I have tried, tried getting in program. I can't do it. Why, what do you think is stopping you from being successful with the programs? Coming back out here too early, not getting no long-term treatment. So you want to go to like a long-term facility where mm -hmm. you, you can't necessarily be roaming out around the streets yeah, and all like that? Every program I get in, it drove hives right around. Yeah, yeah, that's how, <laughs> definitely how that works. All right, man. Um, okay. Okay. Is your father, do you know if he's still alive? No, he did. He did? And so does his side of the family, do they, do no. you ever have any contact with no. any of them? No? No. All right, man. Well, listen, man, um, you know, we definitely wish nothing but the best for you out here. Um, if anybody wanted to reach out or donate or anything like that, um, do you have a way, do you have a cash app or social media? Or anything like that? No. No? All right, man. Well, listen, like I say, definitely wish you the best. Uh, we appreciate you answering all of our questions. And um, definitely make sure you have a good one out here today, all man. Right. All right? Thank you, sir. Right.